Hey guys, so as soon as I received the new Carly Bible palette, I knew I had to do a tutorial. I'm like freaking obsessed with that top pinky color. Oh my god, like watch. It's so freaking pretty. It's like pink and gold. And I just wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me using this palette. I'm so obsessed with it. I didn't actually get my hands on the original one. This is the new one. It's bigger. It's got the most beautiful colors. So I'm really, really excited for this video. If you could not tell already. And I thought I would keep it in theme with my little like cocktail thing I'm doing at the moment. And I've wanted to do something based on champagne. So there's like these cocktails here, the Blushing Bride. And that's like peach schnapps and champagne, which is kind of like the whole pinky peachy vibe and the golden vibe and then I saw this bottle of champagne like it's so beautiful and then there was some Moet as well like the colors I just feel like I don't know it's meant to be pink lemonade champagne like just the color themes of these drinks I'm like yeah okay let's do this this is going to be a very pinky golden pretty look so I'm gonna start with my browsings in shade 3 to do my eyebrows. By the way, my foundation is already done because I'm doing a first impression today. Oh my gosh, I can't even see. My mirror is so far away. I love this stuff. I'm just gonna use my Billion Dollar Brows um, concealer because I accidentally screwed up. This eyebrow is so much thicker than the other one. And some Gimmer Brow in shade 3. Okay, the brows are on. I'm having a weird eyebrow day today. For some reason, they don't look the same as they normally do. Now I'm going to use the Smashbox Lid Primer. This is their white one. All over my eyelashes. <laughs> so this base is white, but it's not super opaque white. Just kind of helps to make the colors on top pop a little. If you want something like super opaque and white, you need to use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. That is the best. But I really like this formula just for like a casual, easy to work with kind of thing. Okay, pink champagne. We are going to start with this color just here. And that is going to be our crease color. By the way, this is a crease blender brush. Probably my favorite eye brush at the moment. It's so easy to use. So I'm going right into that inner corner. So this look today is going to be very blended because I want it to be quite like romantic to go with the vibes of like champagne, you know? I want it to be like flirty and romantic. So everything is going to be super blended. So now I'm mixing together this color and this color. Kind of going right on top in the crease because it's got that kind of pinky tone to it. I'm just really building up that color. <laughs> I'm also going to run those colors underneath. Quite heavy, but again, very blended. Now I'm taking a fluffy blender brush and I'm just going to buff out the edges on the outer edge. Now I'm going to take this color right down the end on that crease blender brush again, but I'm only going to use a tiny, tiny amount. And that's going to go like on the outer part of my crease, just this outer half, I would say and blend it down to that outer V. These eyeshadows are a dream. I love BH Cosmetics, obvs. So there you go, if you're on BH Cosmetics purchasing my palette, pick up hers as well, okay? Because it's legit. I'm sure you guys probably already own the Carly Bible palette. I know it's one of the most popular palettes on BH Cosmetics, which is why I'm kind of like, why did I never own this before? I just realized I've got mess creasing under my eyes. Where the heck is my Okay, so we're looking beautiful so far, but now we need to add in our touches of the gold and pink and make this pink champagne because this so far is very pinky purpley. We don't want too much purple. So we need to knock it back a bit. So first I'm going to start with that beautiful color that I'm obsessed with and I'm going to use a MAC 283 brush. Pick this up because it looked really cool. It's like quite unique. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pick... Oh, I I might actually put that right on the center. Yeah, this brush is probably not the best thing to use with this formula because it's not super dense, but anyway, you get the idea. Look at that color. <gasps> this color though. Oh my goodness. Now I'm taking this pink color to make the look way more pink. I think this is actually a highlighter. I'm using it on my eyeshadow brush and applying that right in here. Also on my inner corner. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> 
And then on top of my inner corner, I'm using this color here, which is like a white gold kind of color. Just to really make that pop. Oh, that is so pigmented, you guys. On my brow bone, I'm going to use this shade just here. And then I'm going to use a little of that white gold kind of shimmery color right on top. We need a little more gold, so I'm going to take this color just here. I'm just using the same brush, by the way. And I'm going to pack that just like in between these two colors. That's nice. Just adding a little bit of warmth. And a little bit just here. <laughs> Just chucking colors on. And then on the outer corner, I'm gonna take this color just here. I'm gonna use a firm blender brush. Actually, I might mix it with that too. So there we have it, the eye makeup. Super shimmery and pretty. I love it. these colors, they're so pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit of that like pink one up the top row, just underneath in the middle of my eye. Okay, before I do all of my eyeliner and everything, I just want to work on my face a little. I'm definitely going to do eyeliner. I think I'm going to do like rose gold. There's a new Tarte rose gold one. I'm so obsessed with how it looks, so I really need to try it out on my eyes. So for the eyes, they turned out a little bit darker than I was envisioning, I guess, because obviously this is like a pink champagne look, which is very light and bright and bubbly. So I'm going to keep the rest of the face very light and bright. Obviously, I'm still going to bronze and contour, but I mean like the lips, the blush, the highlight and everything. So first, I'll contour using my Tartish Pro Glue. Pro, Pro Glow and a domed contour brush. It's so sunny outside. I just want to like take Louis and Zeus for a walk. It's so beautiful. But I know it'll be cold. Don't you hate that? It's so misleading. By the way, don't mind this like hideous hair tie. Hair tie? What? Um, ponytail extension thing I'm wearing. I know it does not match, but when I've like cut off the top of my head, you can't really tell. So I've decided I'm not actually going to bronze. I'll just keep it with the contouring. So my blush, got this one, but it might be a little bit too peach. This one's better. Tremble by Illamasqua. I'm going to use a sheer powder brush just to build it up. I don't want to put on too much at once because it could look terrible. It's getting stuck in my baby hairs. Sideburns, whatever they are. And then of course to highlight, I'll use something out of the Kali Bible palette. I think I'm going to start with this pinky one and then I might add a little of the light pink. I'm going to use a shimmer fan brush. This pink highlighter is so pretty, it's got like gold throwback. Look at that. That's the perfect color. They are very shimmery, intense highlighters, so if you like that, you'll love this. I'm going to use a little of that lighter pink just on top. Okay, I'm gonna wait till I've done my eye makeup till I do my lips, so let's do the eyes. So the eyeliner I was talking about by Tarte is this one, the Tartus Pro Glitter Liner in Rose Gold. It looks so pretty, so I feel like this is perfect. It's like pinky and golden. Look how pretty that is. So you have like blended all those colors on the um, lid as well. So it just looks like a nice gradient of color. Like there's no harsh lines or anything. And as I like rotate my head, you can see those pinks and golds and it's just so pretty. And then let's put a little glitter on just for fun. The glitter is on the other end. I'm just gonna put it like on the middle. The glitter like doesn't even show up. What is this? The other side's amazing, but this side like doesn't do anything. Eh, whatever. I'm going to use some lower lashes today. These are XO Beauty the Understated. And then on the top, I'm going to use the Girl Next Door. But first, of course, I need mascara. I'm going to use Roller Lash today by Benefit. Okay, but why is that one eyelash so long? Can you see it? <laughs> so to balance out the fact that everything on my face right now is super soft, apart from my eyebrows, I'm going to do dramatic dark lashes but the lashes i'm using on top are still shortish they're very natural lashes so it's not gonna look too over the top but it's definitely still gonna look dramatic okay so there is my lashes before falsies bottom lashes is just gonna add a little more volume So hopefully you can see the difference. This eye is so much thicker. So it's just like thickening up those lashes. They're also really good lashes if you have like no natural lashes, really short natural lashes, um, really straight natural lashes, or not much lid space, like hooded eyes and stuff like that. 
And now I'm just using a little black track on my tight line just to just to cover up how it's really light just there. Actually, you know what? I might put that on my waterline too. Quite like that super black liner look. For my lips today, I'm going to use the Benefit Their Real Double the Lip in Lusty Rose, which is one of my favorite ones. I feel like that's not pale enough though. I'm going to put on some Femme by OCC. Okay, this is way too bright. Okay, I found this color here called Pout by Smashbox. I'm thinking this is still too pink. It almost needs to be a little bit peachier maybe to suit the gold. I hate days like this when I can't decide what lip color to wear. Okay, this one here is Bridget by Laura Mercier. It's quite sheer. There's probably a better pink though. Now if I go in with Legally Pink by Chi Chi. Just to brighten it a little bit, that actually looks better in real life than it does on video for some reason. So we are finished with the pink champagne kind of look. A little bit of gold, a little bit of rose gold, a little bit of pink. If you have the Carly Bible palette, make sure you give it a go. Send me a picture. I would love to see it. Send me a picture on like Twitter or Instagram. You can tweet me. But yeah, I love the palette, Carly. You did amazing as always. Here's a close up of the eye makeup and the lips. And this makeup look is so fresh, so radiant, so glowy. It's still quite wearable, I think. And if you didn't like the bright pink lip, you could always just do nude or something like that. Whatever you feel comfortable with, it's totally up to you. If you enjoyed this look, please give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.